Uh, he's a wealthy man, a very wealthy man. Uh, if you have a half a million dollar uh, purchase from Stif uh, Tiffany's, uh, you're not an, a, a middle class American. Well, keep in mind that criticism comes from a man whose net worth is estimated between 190 and 250 million dollars. A man who less than a week ago was heavily criticized for looking out of touch when he challenged Governor Rick Perry to a $10,000 bet. Rick, I'll, I'll tell you what, <laughs> 10,000 bucks, $10,000 bet. I'm not in the betting business. Oh, but, uh, okay. Attacking Gingrich on his wealth isn't the only thing he said to CBS. Watch. New Gingrich has been an unreliable leader in the conservative movement. This is a person who has a very questionable record when it comes to uh, leading conservative principles. This from a man who's been painted as a flip-flopper who has gone on record as not being the most conservative of candidates. I think people recognize that I'm not a partisan Republican, that I'm someone who is moderate and that my, my views are progressive. That was back in 2002. Somewhat contradictory statements from Mitt Romney back then. As we mentioned, it's new material, new lines of attack from Mr. Romney. The question is, does he open himself up to charges of hypocrisy by taking this new tact? Joining me now is CNN Chief Political Analyst Gloria Borger and Senior Political Analyst David uh, Gergen. Uh, David, what do you make of this new line of attack? He should throw out that material and some, find something new. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, Anderson, he's got every reason to be frustrated. Mitt Romney looked like the inevitable nominee. Here comes Newt Gingrich out of nowhere and has, has seized the lead from him, and, and, and Mitt Romney's faded some. So under, I understand the frustration, uh, and I, I applaud him for asking Ann Romney to be out on the stump. She's a terrific asset for him to get his sons out there. But this is beneath him, and it's also, it just... And, and he just played right into inviting you to go replay that $10,000 bet uh, uh, sequel. He could have put that story away. That could have been last week's news. Instead, you know, he chooses to attack Gingrich's wealth. Uh, come on, you know, Romney's about 30 times, has about at least 30 times more wealth than Gingrich. It seems to be an odd line of attack. I think you ought to throw it away, find something else. There are other ways to go out and Newt Gingrich. And by the way, he today in the New York Times, and he sat down with the New York Times today, and he calls Gingrich zany. Zany. That's very unusual. Uh, Gloria, what do you make of it? I mean, would Romney have even brought up the whole Tiffany's thing had he not made this $10,000 blunder bet? I, 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 look, I think raising it today was uh, ridiculous. I think his campaign is clearly trying to change uh, their attack line on Newt Gingrich because they started out by calling him a career politician. That didn't work very well when Gingrich pointed out that Romney himself would have been a career politician had he won all the races uh, he competed in, so, so that didn't work. They're really trying, I think, to focus Mitt Romney on talking about Newt Gingrich's uh, temperament and his dependability and his lack of discipline, which is an ongoing narrative about Newt Gingrich. I would argue that would be a little bit more lucrative for them than talking about the issue of consistency, because Romney's known as a flip-flopper, and also money, which of course, is ridiculous for him to raise about, about Gingrich. Yeah, I mean, David, for Mitt Romney to be attacking him a, as an unreliable conservative, um, again, <laughs> that just opens him up to all sorts of things. Uh, uh, absolutely. It, 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 every time you go after somebody on an issue that you're vulnerable yourself on, it basically invites the media to replay all of the, or the ways in which you're weak or you've been a flip-flop or whatever it is. You know, they have some... They have a, a, an, an argument that many, there's a reason why Mitt Romney does better against Barack Obama than Newt Gingrich does, and there is a perception that Newt Gingrich is, is, you know, is, has an uneven temperament, doesn't have the temperament for the job. That's an area which is worth exploring. Right. I would leave out all the personal stuff. It's just to, ask, to raise the question, you want a man of this temperament in the Oval Office, a man who is going to be the difference between war and peace. That's a legitimate question.